Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking, locking myself in my home. And I don't wanna go to no parties, but baby, so don't send invites to my phone. Um, okay. So welcome to my tutorial for the venture results. Can be my first time ever doing a video editing tutorial, so let me know how it goes in the comments and if I should do more or what I should do. Like in the tutorial, what should I do the tutorial on? But anyway, with that out of the way, just quick intro. Uh, let's get started with the effects. Today we're gonna be learning two effects, and that's gonna be the warp effect and kind of a camera shake slash a blur. They're both like pretty good. So uh yeah. Let's just get started. So first you wanna put in your music. Usually you wanna keep the full song just for this tutorial. I'm just gonna cut it down because we don't need the whole song for the tutorial. So let me just cut it down real quick. Alright, that is cut down enough. So now we wanna go to the first beat drop. I think it starts over here. Hey, paranoid bitch, I'm tw so right here, we hear the beat drop. You wanna click off the audio so it's not selected and press M on your keyboard to, to pretty much mark where the beat drop hits. I actually did it wrong. So let me go one frame back and then press M. Delete this first one. So now we know exactly when the beat drop hits. So now we're gonna drag in our clip that we have is just some random clip. I dragged in right before I started recording. So I just play it from here. Now I need to have the pellets hit on this marker. So let's go. Right there, pellets. So, there we see the pellets. It's so now it's synced up, so let's just uh, watch it, just to see if it's Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking, locking myself. So that looks alright, there's no effects there or anything. It's like a plain clip. So, you wanna select right where the, you hit the shot and the beat drops. You wanna press Control B on your keyboard. Now, ho hover over this one. Over the first clip, have it selected, go into Fusion. Okay, now you're going to want to press Shift Space and type in Dent. I believe you select this one right here. I'm sorry, this is the wrong one. So we're going to go Dent. And we're going to press this one right here. Uh, this one. There we go. So now I'm quickly going to do the settings and you guys just follow along. And yeah, so... These are the good settings. 7.5. Now, what you're going to want to do, uh, we're going to, where do we want the effect to start? Maybe like right here? Maybe right there. So, right as he builds the ramp. We're going to keyframe. Just press on that button. Now go all the way to the end. Keyframe again. And put this at, uh, maybe zero I think looks good. Let's try zero. Yeah, that looks all right. So now to see what it looks like right now. Let me just give it a second to uh, to uh, just render quickly. You see the orange bar. Once it becomes fully blue, that means that like right now, that means it's paranoid, bitch. I'm tweaking. Like so that looks alright. I think. Let's watch it again. Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking. Locking my. Um, Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking. I think that looks alright. It'll be fine. You can always mess around with the settings if you want. Uh, but yeah, so now the next step we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna go into video. Actually, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna go to here. Press on the first keyframe where the effect starts. You're gonna wanna go back here. Now we're on the keyframe where it started. You want to bring your opacity. I'm going to keyframe it. And now you want to go to the very end of the clip. Like right here. And then put the opacity. Keyframe it again. And then put it all the way down. Maybe like. Like, like all. I don't want to do all the way back. Maybe like right here. 16%. Let's try this. See how it looks. Paranoid bitch. I'm tweaking. Maybe a little bit darker I think. i just bring it all like, like this. So very so let's play from the start. Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking. Like it. Oh, let me just play it again quickly. You go with the workspace, view mode, and cinema viewer just to see it in full screen. Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking. Like it myself. So that looks alright, I think. So you can always mess around with your settings. Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking. Like it myself. You can always mess around with your settings. Uh, now, for this effect. Not this effect, but the second clip, just to make it look nicer after. You want to press, r select both, right click, 
like this. Just select both, right click, press the link clips, then select this one again. You want to press Control R. What this does is it allows you to change the, like how fast it is, the speed pretty much. So I want to go right after he gets the kill, right here. Uh, this looks alright. When press here, press Add Speed Points. Now you want to press here, change speed, 50%. All it does is make it look kind of like a cool slow mo. Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking, locking myself. So that looks decent. I think it looks pretty good actually. Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking, locking myself in my home. So, that looks good. so now we can maybe add a glow. I think a glow would look nice. Um, so we're gonna go here, go into fusion. Or actually, let me start here. You see where, uh, right where it ends being a slow mo? I'm gonna start right there just so I know it's synced up. So now going here, we're gonna press shift space. Oh, why is it not working? Shift space. And we're gonna. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use a Sapphire plugin. I'll have them linked in the description. It's just to make it look a little bit nicer. I'll link it in the description so you can download yourself. We can also use this with a regular glow. Oh, uh, there we go. So, it's in, in place now. So, you want to keyframe it here. And we're going to go to the very start of the clip. And this is the very start. We're going to keyframe it. Now, we're going to go here. Go one to the right. Oops, I'm sorry. You didn't go, even go to there. One to the right. Keyframe. And bring this all the way down to zero. So, it looks kind of like this. Is like, after the clip. It looks like that. Just a uh, glow. So here, again, you can always mess around the settings. I'm actually going to change the color to make it look a little bit nicer. This isn't in regular glow. This is only the Sapphire plugin. But it's pretty much just the same with regular glow. And I'll also link Sapphire plugin down the link in the description. So, what does this look? Uh, I think that's a little bit too dark. Let's maybe make it like this. I think that looks pretty clean, so. Let's play it. Bam. Okay, so I think that's a decent glow. Again, you can always mess around with these settings. Let me just go right here. Make it a little bit brighter. A little bit less bright. I think I'll make it a little bit less bright. Like that, maybe. And then here. Oops. Right here, I'll also turn it down a bit, just so it matches up a little bit. Alright. So, let's see how this looks. Uh, so, remember how I said earlier... When it has this orange bar above it, that means that it's not fully rendered. And we just have to wait quickly. While well, it's fully blue. And it's fully blue, so let's go into view mode and see how the whole clip looks so far. Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking. Locking myself in my home. So I think it looks pretty decent. Let's watch it. Okay, so... Paranoid bitch, I'm tweaking. Locking myself in my so I think that looks pretty clean. So I think that'll do for now. So now let's look for the next beat drop. Let's put it in our second clip and let's just get a beat drop to put it on. Um, and I don't wanna go to no parties, little baby. So don't send invites to my phone. She said I'm an asshole for no reason. And I don't wanna go to no parties, little baby. Uh, I don't wanna go to no parties, baby. We can put this as a beat drop. So let's just make sure we're right on the beat drop. There it is. We're gonna press M on our keyboard to mark it. Now, let me drag in my second clip. I believe it is this one. Um, so let me just cut it down all the way. Okay. So, let's see where the shot actually hits. Right there. Uh, this works too. When you see the shots hit the body. So now we know that the beat is here. So let's bring it all the way over here. So let's see how it looks. Like. Um, and I don't wanna go to no parties, little baby, so don't Alright, let me cut this out. So as you can see, it's synced. Um, and I don't wanna go to no parties, little baby, so don't send him. Okay, so before we go any farther, just press Control S, you don't have to. But what it does is save your progress, so the venture resolve sometimes uh, tends to crash. So just press Control S in case it ends up, it does end up crashing, so you don't lose any of your progress. I probably did a little bit too late, but maybe every two minutes or so. You want to press it just in case uh, the ventures all crashes and you lose all your progress. You wouldn't want that to happen, obviously. 
All right, so this is like the seventh time the Vince Resolve has crashed. Um, if you're seeing this, that means I've went through a lot of pain of constantly the game, well not the game, the software crashing. The Vince Resolve needs to fix this. It could be because I'm recording, but it's, it's ridiculous. So I think the last 20 minutes, it's just been crashing. But anyway, let's continue where we left off. We already have it synced up. And I don't want to go to no parties with baby. That looks nice. It's all synced up. So now we're going to... For this clip, we're gonna have to add, I think, three effects would be look nice. A slow-mo, a blur, and a camera shake. I think those look very nice. It's a very good combo for a clip. So, we're gonna want to split the clip. Control B. Now we have this clip selected right here. Um, okay. So now we're gonna add a slow-mo. And the way to add a slow-mo is you need to press Control R. But before we add a slow-mo, you need to right-click, link clips, and unlink them. Otherwise, if you don't do that... The slow-mo is also going to slow-mo the audio. That's not good at all. We don't want that to happen. It's going to sound awful. So let's say I want the slow-mo to start here. I'm going to want to press Control-R. So we're going to press Control-R here. I think it looks nice. The slow-mo ends here. You want to, right here, add speed point. Change speed 50%. So let's just play it from the start. See how it looks. And I don't want to go to no parties with baby, so don't send invite. So Alright, I actually think what we can do is we can maybe make this up a little bit longer, because I think it... Let's just watch it again. And I don't want to go to no parties with baby, so don't send invites to my parties with baby, so don't send... So now we're going to want to add the blur and the camera shake. So you want to go over here to open effects. It should be the first one, Gaussian blur. You want to drag it in right here. Now we're going to go to open effects up here in the inspector tab. And right as the slow-mo ends, you can see this is slow-mo, it's not slow-mo. This is the, what's it called? The frame that ends. You want a keyframe right here. Go right, one keyframe. Keyframe it again, bring it all the way down to zero. So it's going to be like this. From the start, hold on. Um, and I don't want to go to no parties with baby, so don't send invites. Let's play, Let's play it in full screen. Workspace, cinema viewer, viewer mode, I mean, cinema viewer. There we go. Um, and I don't want to go to no parties with baby, so don't send invites to... So, that looks good, I think. So, let's add a camera shake. Alright, so, now that we've done that, we're going to want to go... Let me press Control S again, just to save. Now, we're going to go into Fusion. Shift, Space. Camera shake, just type it in. I want to press on this one right here. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to press on that one. Again, this is a bug. It's sometimes going to put Fusion one clip before. This sometimes happens. It's not too big of a deal. Just go back to the other one. Delete it. Now we're going to go back here. Go to Fusion. Camera shake. It's already here. Again, that happens. It's going to frustrate me. Okay, never mind. Didn't happen. So we're going to go into Fusion here. Make sure it's synced up. Right there. Yep, it's synced up with the blur. I'm going to go into Fusion, Shift Space, type it in again, Camera Shake, right there, add, there it is. So, now what you're going to want to do, this is where the blur ends, it's also where you want your camera shake to end. And you want a keyframe right here, now go one to the right, keyframe again, zero. So now, let's just play with just the default settings. Okay, that's way too violent in my opinion. So, I'm going to go get the good settings. And, um, I'll be back. Just copy my settings, and you should be fine. Okay, so I think that looks nice. Just copy these settings. You don't need to use these exact settings. I kind of just guessed. Not guessed, but just made it however I look nice. Make it however you think it looks nice. Uh, so we're going to go back into the editing tab. For me, I already checked that it looks good, and it's already rendered. This right here, I just wait for it to render quickly. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if it, you, if I had something I should improve. This is my first time doing it, so cut me a little bit of slack. Any effects you guys want to see in the future, maybe? Um, and yeah, peace out of here. Uh, peace out. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.